we as a couple would like to encourage every single interracial marriages that exist um, because we know these are some trying times. But remember that your marriage is a picture of unity in mm -hmm. itself. And remember that what God has joined together, let no man separate. Mm -hmm. So do interracial couples perpetuate racial inequality? So if you are interested, keep on watching. Hello, dear friends. Hey, guys. Welcome back to the Amundsen Family Channel. Uh-huh. My name is Jory. This is my lovely wife. Biname Orby. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and comment down below so we can stay in touch. Don't forget to like, share, and turn on your notification bell so, so you, you know, know when a new, new video comes, comes out. out. Thank you. Okay. So due to recent events, we've mm -hmm. become more aware of white privilege. Mm -hmm. And I understand people get hung up on the terminology, mm -hmm. but just understand that when we say white privilege, we're talking about the fact that life is easier if you're white in America. Mm -hmm. That's all we're saying. There are more obstacles if you're black. Yes. <laughs> Well said. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, yes. Sure, everyone has um, a difficult time uh, pushing through circumstances that work right. against them. Mm -hmm. Those circumstances are stacked quite a bit higher for black for folks. Black. Mm -hmm. that's, that's just what it is. Yep. Um, and so we've noticed due to recent events that that is, I mean, we, it's not like it's the first time we've noticed it, but we've, we've become more aware, aware of it. Yeah. Uh, and it got us thinking and talking a little more about ourselves mm -hmm. and what are the effects of that white privilege in our marriage mm -hmm. and uh, do we at times use that? Mm -hmm. And does it in fact exist? Right. Yeah. Okay. Is there interracial marriage white privilege? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. So yeah, this is not to try and bash any interracial couples. No. Obviously. We are an interracial couple. It's just to say, hey, think about it and what can we do to better, um, to do better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so let's, let's, okay. let's talk. So when Jory and I were doing some research, we watched an interracial couple and she mentioned that she um, got denied certain loans mm -hmm. and she got so frustrated that she ended up using her husband. So then I'm like, oh my word, that opened my eyes that Vinime, you have options. Like <laughs> if it doesn't work out, just send Jory in. And it made me wonder, what about a black couple? I have never, guys, I'm not even trying to be funny, call me naive, whatever you want. But I never for once stopped and said, what about someone who does not have an option? Right. Right. And am I adding to the issue of racial inequality? And sadly, I think we were. Right. Um, subconsciously. Right. We. I don't think. I. I mean, obviously, I'm a little less aware because mm -hmm. I'm white. But right. I don't think we ever intended to to add to that. Right. However, now that we're aware, mm -hmm. in action is the same as negative action. Right. Uh, so not to act is is omission. It's omitting what you should be doing. Mm -hmm. And so we feel like uh, we need to do better. Right. Yeah, you know, I, I think we in the moment we were just thinking, how do we get what we need to get? What we need to get. Not thinking about mm -hmm. using my skin color for our advantage and right. how that could affect those in the country and in the world mm -hmm. who don't have that option. Correct. A, a black couple, a couple with darker skin who is treated differently mm -hmm. uh, because the system is, is built to benefit uh, white folks a little more. Right. Um, are we perpetuating that negative um, aspect mm -hmm. of the system? Yeah. So. so we're gonna go through and share some of the experiences where we've noticed it. So when George was in South Carolina and he was getting ready to move to Indiana where the children and I were, the very, the same people who were friendly towards us um, when Jory was there, like us as a family, 
wouldn't even be around us when he was when he went back to South Carolina. Mm -hmm. And I had to like call Jory and say, hey, this is what's happening. Like there's not mm -hmm. really a relationship and stuff like that. Right. And yeah, so that's just one yeah. of many examples. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's true in many situations mm -hmm. where uh, that, that happens, mm -hmm. where I'm around, it's one thing, it's covert. Mm -hmm. um, it might not be spoken, right? Uh, but then people are bold to say whatever they want when right. I'm not around or right. act crazy. So, right. All right. So one area that we realized um, it would work better for me to be the face of what's happening, and actually Biname mentioned it, mm -hmm. uh, was with our homes, mm -hmm. getting a home, getting a mortgage for a home, mm -hmm. dealing with realtors, closing. Uh, she felt like, and I. I realize it's true that um, it greases the wheels of the process. If you're a white man dealing with this stuff. Your privilege. Yeah. To use your privilege. Use, <laughs> using my privilege yes. to help us with our home situations, mm -hmm. buying, selling, housing. Yeah. Um, so that's something we did. How did you feel when I would ask you to continually be the face? Like for example, the side little you know things you would do here for in terms of construction mm -hmm. and jobs like he wanted to start um a business mm -hmm. but he wanted me to be the brains of the business yeah. and um i felt bad but i just looked him in the eyes and said sweetheart i'm black <laughs> no first i said i'm a woman yeah and then i'm a black woman so yes, you're you not going to get any business in the area uh, we live we currently live in yeah. mm -hmm. because that's just a no-no right and it was sad because we love working together right. like being partners yeah. and so she, she has strengths in areas I don't like mm -hmm. I'm not fantastic at sales mm -hmm. uh, I can do it you know I can go out and try to drum up work but mm -hmm. I'm nervous and not <laughs> not fantastic at it and mm -hmm. she's really good at it mm -hmm. and uh, so I was like well let's play to your strengths yes it's a strength for her but it becomes a weakness in this area mm -hmm. when people look at you differently. Yeah. Um, just for the color of your skin. And yeah. they won't say it because right. in the region we live in, you're not supposed to act that way. Right. Um, it's a very religious area. Um, so the racism here exists, but it's covert. It is what it is. I mean, it's, it's sad, but in this area, um, it wouldn't work for me to mm -hmm. to put Bename as the face of the company to be selling or you know those right. things yeah. and and so when we when I was doing side work and I never I never got the business really big um, I just I would be the one to go out and do stuff mm -hmm. and so I can talk on the phone and put on my white white <laughs> voice <laughs> speak properly and if you're black phone. you know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> So, but I couldn't be the, you know, the, the face of it. We had to use his white privilege yeah. to get um, jobs. I yeah. mean, it is what it is. We're and not... if I'm honest, it never felt quite right, you know? Yeah. Like, yeah. this doesn't feel like totally honest. Yeah. It doesn't feel like we're being true to who we are. Right. And we've just kind of been like, well, to, to make it financially that's, or that's to, what we had to or do. to, yeah, to, to get what we need to get, mm -hmm. this is what we'll have to do, so we'll adapt. Mm -hmm. But we've been thinking a lot about it lately. So how did it make you feel when I would ask you continually, well, you do that, or let's put your name on it, right. because because of your privilege, how, right. how did it make you feel? So honestly, I think because I value your input, mm -hmm. I always just thought, yeah, that makes sense. Right. She has very good ideas and she's very wise. And I thank God that I was given the wife I was given oh, okay. because you, you're welcome. Because you do a really good job uh -huh. um, and you, you're smart and you, you, you think of these things. So I thought, okay, yeah, that makes sense. That's what we need to do. I would maybe feel a little bad that she couldn't right. do it. Mm -hmm. um, but I never, I, got, I never got much beyond that. Um, I, I never really deeply considered, considered it. it yeah. I, I was always like, well, that's too bad, but okay, mm -hmm. I'll, yeah, okay, I'll, do, I'll do what I need to do so yeah. that our family can get what they need. Did you feel used at all? No, I never okay. felt used. Because we're a, a family. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, we always play to our strengths. And, yes. And so if, obviously, if we're doing that, we're playing to a strength, so it's hard, it's hard for people to say that doesn't exist. Right. When we obviously have 
played to that, right. you know, and right. and not intentionally to to put anyone down, but right. Um, I'm I have to say, like, I'm really grateful for the conversations that are happening now. Right. I've seen a lot of white folks that I I've thought, you know, they'll never. Mm -hmm even talk about this, having these conversations. And right. it's fantastic. I right. think it's amazing. Yeah, so I think um, it's made us more aware lately uh, of something that is probably extremely, extremely pronounced in a black community. So I don't think I ever um, intentionally meant to add to the inequality that exists, mm -hmm. but I was also not as aware as I have been lately. lately. I think lately we've become very aware. aware. And um, that's a good thing. The awareness is a good thing because then you can make a change. Yeah. So. And if you are uh, in an interracial relationship and you totally disagree and you know, or you agree, comment down below. We yes. want to speak to you. Let's just keep it respectful. Mm -hmm. No name calling. Uh, we're just trying to do better yeah. as a family. And then we are challenging uh, other interracial couples to do the same. Or, um, and I think for me personally, this video was to try if there are any uh, white people who watch to say, hey, it's not just black people saying, because if apart from Jory, if I say it, it wouldn't, I don't think it could register, but to see a couple, a mm -hmm. black and a white, telling you that it does exist and we play to that, we hope this could open um, your mind a little bit mm -hmm. and that you would consider it. Right. Having privilege doesn't make you a bad person at all. So I just wanted to say that. Like, right. we're not saying you're a bad person, no. that you have it. No. The system was designed in your favor is right. all that is being said. Right. Yeah. Yeah, we have to be careful not to get in, too much in, entrenched in one side or the other of right. belief systems. Right. Um, we have to just try and figure out for humanity and for America and for people. For Christianity. For Christianity. What's the truth of yeah. this matter? Period. Yeah. Because... We will uh, we will always address a topic from a kingdom mindset. Right. Not a Republican, not a Democrat, not an Independent, not right. Black, not White. Kingdom. Right. Because that's we're citizens of the kingdom. Right. And we're, that's our home. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. We're we're a royal family. That's right. Uh, all of us mm -hmm. that know the Lord. So mm -hmm. we need to first serve him look at what he says mm -hmm. and understand his perspective that's right so that's where we're coming from and trying to be as honest as we can mm -hmm. about our own circumstance yeah our own experience mm -hmm. and this is our perspective what we're offering is our perspective and we're open to yours yes. and we'd love to have a dialogue about it Absolutely. we want to talk about it get in the comments talk to us mm -hmm. if you disagree tell us we want right. to talk about that I'm open to understand better what you see, and mm -hmm. um, both of us are, and we'll we'll discuss that. Yeah, just be right. just be kind about it. Yeah. We'll try to be kind about it. Yes. And and let's get let's keep the conversation Go moving. Yeah. We wanted to we wanted to uh, open up another channel that we can talk about, and it is the white privilege that can happen in an interracial couple. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so when we were in South Carolina mm -hmm. and we were selling our first home. Mm -hmm. Uh, there's a specific story that we talked about, um, an experience we had, mm -hmm. where when we were prepping the house, you kind of stage things to make it look nice, so when people walk through, it looks appealing. Mm -hmm. um, and one of the things our realtor told us was that we needed to take our family pictures off the walls. He said that, you know, people want to envision their own family here in the house. Right. So you need to take your own family pictures down so that it's it looks like a clean slate. They can imagine themselves in the home. Mm -hmm. And so we thought, well, that makes a lot of sense. Right. <laughs> um, so we, we did that. But come to find out later that actually the reason is that uh, because we are a mixed race family, if a white family comes in and sees black people in pictures on the walls, they immediately assume negative things and they're willing to pay less for the house. Yeah, they're not willing to offer the full price of the mm -hmm. home because being black devalues. <laughs> Even though when we sold the house, 
the gentleman who bought it said, how did you keep this house so nice with kids? <laughs> because it, it was immaculate and mm -hmm. Bename did a fantastic job. Mm -hmm. It's not me, I don't like to clean. But, <laughs> but she was like, all right, let's get the carpets shampooed. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know, once or twice a year, let's mm -hmm. make sure we're doing this and that and like keeping things pristine. Mm -hmm. So, you know, she went to great lengths. No one was allowed in the house with shoes. It was just like, as soon as you step in, drop your shoes at the door, you know, it was just like, a lot of things she did. So our house was in perfect shape, but mm -hmm. um, there's there we found out there's this idea of uh, a black-owned home mm -hmm. is not worth the same as a white-owned home. Right. And and later we're just like, wow. When we realized that, we like we had no idea. We just took that's, our pictures down. And, right. That's us being naive. Right. Of, yeah. Mm -hmm. But guess what? What? Next time around, we're leaving our pictures. Up. That's right. So the. One of the other things that happened was here where we are now, mm -hmm. uh, we had a realtor come in to look at the house. We bought a foreclosed home and we're fixing it up. Mm -hmm. We wanted someone to come in and just say, here's how much I think you should work on in order to get back um, a decent amount of money when you sell. Mm -hmm. And so we had someone come in, a white guy came in, he was recommended by a friend of mine. Mm -hmm. and. Um, you know, maybe maybe my friend's experience was different than ours. I'm guessing it I'm must sure have it was, been yeah. <laughs> if you recommended this guy. Yeah. But uh, this guy came in and to our faces seemed polite mm -hmm. um, and looked around and and said he would talk to us more mm -hmm. um, and left. And so I I hadn't heard from him in about a week. So mm -hmm. I reached out to him to see what his thoughts were. Um, never heard anything and to this day have not heard back from this realtor. Uh, I don't know exactly why that is, but I have a pretty good guess. Uh, so, <laughs> How long has it been, just so they know? Uh, six months. Yeah, <laughs> yes, it's been six, six months. months. No call, and when you call right. him, you left a message, right? Right, I yeah, did, yeah. yeah. So there's no excuse. Right, yeah. I mean, and he, if he wants business, he knows who he met with. That's he, right. He had done a little bit of homework and printed off our stats on the house and things so it wasn't like he forgot right. um, so yeah um, he chose not to work with us mm -hmm. we kind of gave him the benefit of the doubt you know and maybe something did happen to him God Lord I hope nothing nothing did. happened um, yeah. I hope he's okay but mm -hmm. uh, I'm not sure what to think of that right you know was um, denied rice because <laughs> um, the guy just didn't want to sell it to me mm -hmm. he was telling me to buy you know this certain type of rice and I told him no right and you then knew, you knew what kind you wanted right and eventually mm -hmm. he came out and said he didn't have it so I'm a very determined person especially if I'm being mistreated <laughs> um, I'm gonna get what I want and so I ended up getting the rice and I think he felt bad but my mom was like you should have let Jory go in to see what they would have done so things like that, like I feel right. like if I would have let Jory go, go in, he wouldn't have had an issue at all. Yeah. I think the guy would have actually struck up a conversation with Jory. <laughs> um, <laughs> and I, when we would need to sell a vehicle, I would make sure the children and I were nowhere to be found. Hmm. Um, just so Jory can get the amount we were wanting and that we would actually make the sale. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's, it's really hard to think about the fact that I I have to hide my family. Yeah. Like that is it's sick, mm -hmm. isn't it? Mm -hmm. To think about hiding your family mm -hmm. because of how people will treat them. Yeah. And and I guess for a black family you can't hide. Right. There's no putting anyone forward. Right. You right. You I mean you just don't get the same opportunities yeah. when you when you talk about, you know, the the amount of privilege we have. Right. There's levels. I mean, a, white, levels. a white family yeah. has greater privilege yeah. than we do, mm -hmm. and a black family has none. Mm -hmm. So, it is what it is. Yeah. Like, even speaking about the house, this home that we have, I had to speak to the guy with through your email and pretend to be Jory over the, you know, over the phone. <laughs> uh, because he would be at work and I would be at home, so I would have to deal with, you know, the loans and all that stuff. But, um, yeah, I, I recognize it. Um, do you think you recognize your privilege more now um, than ever before? And do you feel bad? Does that make you feel bad that you have that privilege? I do recognize it more now than mm -hmm. I ever have. Mm -hmm. I feel like in the last two weeks, I've just been like falling. I yeah. feel like I'm falling. Like, yeah. like my reality 
has been ripped away. And it's not like I was totally unaware. Right. I, I know that racism exists. Yeah. I, I knew that. I knew that it was harder for black people. Mm -hmm. But I feel like I have just been totally confronted mm -hmm. with the reality of it th through seeing the pain of people mm -hmm. marching and, and even the riots and and just watching the image of what happened to George Floyd and mm -hmm. rem remembering again all the people who've had this difficult struggle yeah. and and it just and researching and I just feel like I'm just <laughs> I, I I do and I do feel bad that, mm -hmm. that I have that I mean I don't want to hold white folks back I don't right. think that's right but mm -hmm. to say that black folks are at the same starting point mm -hmm. as white folks mm -hmm. is a lot. It is. Yeah. It's it's not the same thing. Um, mm -hmm. We don't start at the same point. That's right. Um, there's a difference. And it doesn't make you a bad person. Right. No, I'm not trying to say not. white folks he are didn't, bad. He personally did not create the system. Right. Yeah. I I think for me it's it's saying in any situation mm -hmm. I need to view the person for who they are regardless right. of their skin color. Right. And and if I see a disparity in opportunity based on color of skin, mm -hmm. I need to say something. Right. Period. Right. And I think um, like we when we were talking, you mentioned that because you were homeschooled, you didn't see a lot of it. <laughs> right. And then me being from Africa, we didn't like it back home you don't really experience racism. It wasn't until I got here that I start noticing, oh, right. okay, I am different, different, I get treated differently, and I know what I'm saying, but, um, so he was aware that I got treated a certain way. And it's not fair for me to live in a world where I think everything's perfect. Right. When there are people struggling. Right. All around me. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I just kind of, I, I remember telling a friend that if this is my lot in life, then I'm willing to take it in stride. Right. Um, that's that's the conclusion I right. came I, to for myself. Yeah. Um, that everybody has a plight in life, and if this is mine, I'm going to walk before God humbly and continue. Because, mm -hmm. like I said, if I want something, I'm very determined. <laughs> Jory or not, I am getting it. Um, so. Jory and I asked some of our friends that are yeah. in interracial marriages yeah. if they've experienced their or have they noticed their white privilege. Mm -hmm. And one specifically said, oh yes, and we play it to our advantage. Yes. So it does <laughs> exist. Yes. Um, and um, another one says, oh yeah, when she's with her white husband, she gets more respect than when she's alone. Right. Again, there's that overt and covert situation. Yeah. This is a perfect test. Yeah. Um, where we can send one in and send the other right. one in into right. the same situation yep. and look at the results. Exactly. It's scientific. Yes. <laughs> and then another friend who told me that she had lost her credit card, she went into... <clears throat> The bank, the bank was the bank lady was like, "You sure you didn't use it?" Right. And this lady is like extremely smart. <laughs> right. And so just the thought of she would use the card and go, "Oh yeah, I don't remember using it." Is <laughs> is beyond me. So anyway, that was at 1 p.m. and at 6 p.m. her husband comes in and totally different uh, result. <laughs> so they were able to rectify the situation and she was able to um, get what to do to her. So. Another friend mentioned that um, it's easier for her to travel. Oh yeah. Uh, without dealing with the too much security. Yeah, that it because <sighs> yeah, she's yeah, with yeah. the she's with the white husband, mm -hmm. and um, some of them do press through and you know stand on right. the grounds of like being standing with the black community mm -hmm. uh, at times, and others is like you know when you have a home or when you need to get a business loan then you were like uh, is it worth fighting right or do I need to go ahead and just do this to better my family right. so uh, we're not perfect right. at this um, but it's just a way of me of us sharing that we acknowledge it we're more aware of it mm -hmm. and we're gonna do our best all the time to try and stand with the black community. Well, we set out in this video to ask the question, is there white privilege? 
And the answer is clearly yes. Mm -hmm. And secondly, are there levels to it? Mm -hmm. And also yes. Um, if you're if you surround yourself by white people, you will encounter the highest level. Yes, right. And if you surround yourself by mixed company, you'll probably get kind of a medium intermediate mm -hmm. level, mm -hmm. which is what you might expect. And if you are all black folks, sorry, or all black people. Um, you'll probably experience the most right. racism or the least white privilege. Right. Um, I know it's a touchy subject, mm -hmm. but I feel like it needs to be addressed. Yeah. And I think it takes white folks speaking on it mm -hmm. for it to be recognized, which right. brings up another perfect example of white privilege. Right. That, I mean, outcry in the streets from black folks is called criminal right uh it's not enough to make a change yeah outcry in the streets from black folks is is almost ignored mm -hmm. but if it were white folks there would be change yeah and so that uh, that in itself is obvious um so yeah we want to we want to be in solidarity with mm -hmm. uh, the black community in helping them and in, in linking arms with those who need um the system to work better for them. Yeah. White privilege does exist, and it even exists in an interracial um, marriage. Let's let's keep this conversation going. Let's yeah. get in the comments, talk to us, let us know what you're thinking. Mm -hmm. We'll talk back and forth. Um, Be respectful. <laughs> yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. We hope um, this video <laughs> helped show that uh, white privilege does exist, it and does. it even exists in interracial relationships. So, with that dear friends, keep, keep looking, looking out. out.